to slow Jim and James. What does that mean? It's story time. I'm doing two things at the same time. So I'm recording a podcast audio, but I'm also doing video. So I can put that up on YouTube. I should have thought of a name for this particular episode. The Dog Pound. How did I get involved with the Dog Pound? And even get on the album Dog Food. Well, let me tell you the story. Not too long after I met Snoop, he had invited me over to Death Row Records, which is really Can-Am Studios in Tarzana, California. He wanted a particular song. I had the CD, Shirley Jones, Do You Get Enough Love? I took it over there. They converted that into a song called Do You Smoke Enough Bud? That was my first introduction to the Death Row Records, Can-Am Studios, operated by Shug Knight. I spent a lot of time subsequently after that. I got a chance to meet Tupac. You name anybody in the West Coast rap arena, they were there. Dre, of course, Snoop, everybody. I go over and do different skits. Then one day, they were recording The Dog Pound, Daz and Corrupt. I'm not sure if that was at k Studios or another studio, but I was invited to sit in. So I'm sitting there, minding my own business. <laughs> There's a lot of smoke, very loud music, and dogs. Perfect scenario. I'm just sitting there. And Snoop says, KJ, oh, yeah. he said, uh, why don't you drop on the end of this song? I said, okay, what song? He said, the one playing. I said, what's playing? He said, it's called Smooth. He started to get irritated with me because I was asking so many questions. He said, do you mind stepping up to the mic and saying something? So I went up there and I stood there and I said, say what? Once again, he's getting more agitated. He says, you're a DJ, say something. Well, that kind of scared me. <laughs> so, first thing that came to my mind was, hi, I'm Kevin Slow Jammin' James from 92.3 The Beat. And this shit sounds smooth. Get me an application. I'm switching up. I want to work for W Balls. He said, okay. I said, okay what? He said, you're done. That was it, so I stayed for the remainder of the session. Maybe two, two and a half months later, I walked to the station. Well, I didn't walk, but I went to the station, 92.3 The Beat. And when I came in, uh, Theo, legendary DJ for The Beat, one of the all-time great DJs in Los Angeles, said, hey, Kevin, I heard you on the Dog Pound album, Dog Food. I said, what? You're on the album. I go, are you kidding me? So I went to his little office and he played it for me. I said, that is me. He goes, I know that's you. You say it's you. <laughs> and a little history on that album, Dog Food. It was delayed by, I'm just guessing here, maybe two, three months because of the lyrics. And that's what spawned ratings on uh, CDs, you know, parental guidance or whatever those ratings were on there. But that was the album that put that motion into gear to label CDs, cassettes, whatever the case might be back then. And uh, that's why it took so long from uh, the recording to it actually being released. So it did get released. The Dog Pound, and I'm on the track Smooth with a little 
excerpt I just gave. But uh, that's the story behind that. He, he, it's just one of those things, it's not planned. I'm just sitting there like, like I am right now. I'm going, oh, mm -hmm. And then when Stoop said something, I went, uh, you know, because there's like a, like a million people in the studio. And that's what happened. That's how I ended up on the dog pound dog food. That led to many more skits after that. I became an official W Balls announcer, still to this day. Oh yeah, I do the slow jam. I work for Snoop Dogg's Cat Lab Music on Dash Radio. I do my podcast, Kevin Slow Jam and James. But I work for W Balls. <laughs> so it's opened up a whole another uh, part of my career. You know, I'm on um, Snoop's Dog Father. You know the track where he talks to a kid when I grow up? Well, that's me on the front. You've got much love. I'm a dog pound and the LBC. And that uh, was just one of a, a few skits that I did. And God bless him and rest in heaven. Nate Dog. I'm on a couple of tracks on his album. So I became a a skit man. <laughs> I'm Kevin Slow Jam and James. This is my latest story about the Dog Pound. Daz and Corrupt. Love those guys, by the way. They're so down to earth. And, uh, it reminds me, before I sign off here, Corrupt had moved back to Philadelphia and was working for his own label, Wall Street Records, if I remember correctly. But I'm not going to tell that story right now. But I had a hand in getting him back to Los Angeles. Uh, somebody, I don't remember who it was, asked me to, to recruit him to come back to Los Angeles. So I had my hand in that. But that could be another story, don't you think? What do you think? Any ideas for stories? Kevin at slowjam.com. I'll be on Snoop Dogg's Cadillac Music tonight, 4 p.m. till 9 p.m. every night but Saturday. And the Slow Jam Podcast, which this is, but the difference this time, because of the video element of it, this will be on YouTube. Thank you. On behalf of Snoop, everybody with uh, W Balls. I love working for W Balls. I switched up. Ha <laughs> ha.